Hi everyone, I'm Alicia from the Pixicade team, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get your app set up and ready to play. Getting started with your Pixicade kit. In the box, you'll find a set of five markers, an instruction sheet with two QR codes, and three books that teach you game design in simple, easy to read steps. Setting up Pixicade on your device. To get started, make sure that your device is fully charged or connected to an outlet. Then go to the App Store for your device. Here, you can use the search to find Pixicade. And we're ready to go. When you first open up Pixicade, it will bring you to your Create Account screen. Here, you can select your avatar, enter your email address, for kids under 13, please make sure your parents help you to enter their email address for communication purposes. Enter your username. Please select a username that is fun to share with your friends, but doesn't specifically say your name. Enter a password that you'll remember and your age. When you're finished, don't forget to check out our terms of service and privacy policy. Now I will ask you if you have a Pixicade box. In your box, you have two QR codes. Those will allow you to scan and open up two different accounts or to put both game counts onto one. Hover over one of your QR codes and tap the camera button. This will bring you into your account. You can get started by adding your friends or going right in to play. We'll do another tutorial on adding friends later, so let's play. Now we're at our home screen where we can check out the arcade or create our own games. If you are setting this account up for a user under 13, you'll notice that the Create button is still locked. This is to comply with COPPA law, which requires a parental email permission. If permission is granted through the email, your child will automatically have access to the Create button. Just be patient. This may take a moment. The Pixicade kit comes with five colors, and each one has a special job in the game. We're going to start off with black, which is going to draw the walls, floors, and any platforms that you want your character to jump on. After you've drawn the black space of your game, move on to your green to draw your character, also known as the avatar. Make sure that your character is completely connected. Any parts that are not connected to the main body will fall apart and you'll have two avatars instead of just one. Now move on to blue. You're going to use this to draw all of the goals of your game. Your character has to collect all of the blue goals in order to beat the game. After adding your goals, move on to adding hazards. Red is going to end the game for your avatar. Avoid it while you play. Lastly, purple are movable objects. They are affected by gravity and your character can push them around the screen and knock them over. When you're done drawing your game, you're ready to take your picture. In the Pixicade app, click on the Create button. The type of game we just created is called a Get to the Goal game. Tap on that icon and it will open up the camera within the app. Line up your camera, this way you can see all of the drawing that you did, but you don't wanna see any of the stuff on the outside edges, like your tabletop or your couch or your dog. Click the camera button and it will start to load. In about 30 seconds, your app will be ready to play. This does change a little bit depending on the complexity of your game and the speed of your internet. My game is now ready to play. I control my character with the left and right arrows and jump and double jump with the button on the right. Uh-oh, one thing I've noticed is that my character can't jump high enough. No worries. The app has been created with some edits that you can use to make your game more interesting and help you fix minor edits. You're gonna tap on the pause button at the top right of your screen and look for the power-ups button. That's the blue starburst. You can find this in the game over screen or here in pause. Along the left-hand side, you'll see that there are a number of edit options that you can choose. We're gonna start with the pencil that says edit. I'm going to remove the hazard right at the front of that platform, which is making it impossible for my character to jump up there. 
Because my character can't jump high enough to get on this platform, I'm gonna help it out by adding motion to my platform. This makes it easier for my character to jump on and reach that goal. This looks about right. I'm going to tell it to set my object and return to the toolbar and that my game is ready to play. We hope this video has helped you get started with your Pixicade mobile game maker. We can't wait to see what you create.